Uh, I'm going to talk about comfort uh, zone today. Actually, I found the meaning of comfort zone in uh, Merriam Webster. The level at which one functions with ease and familiarity. And then um, this word actually start, uh, I mean, first known, used 1923. I faced exactly with the sentence there. It was very, I mean, interesting. So um, I written here to use in my lecture. Hume said the experience of living in France for your allowed uh, um, uh, actually, yeah, her to stop outside of her comfort zone daily, which made her more confident person. You know, at the same time, it actually uh, came a question in my mind, uh, and um, I realized it has some good, you know, association with uh, with confidence. Actually, um, you know, it has been the reason I'd like to talk about exactly what will happen, what will happen if we uh, walk away from the daily routine, or can I, I can say, for example, what will happen if we step out of uh, our comfort zone? Um, actually, um, uh, I have found, you know, some uh, examples to explain, you know, um, my question and describe actually my question. Um, we know all successful people have tried to break the shell of uh, comfortable to, you know, to forward, break on the shell of exactly comfort zone daily to go forward. Um, I can bring an example, um, it, you know, it's very actually important even for me in my life. Yuri Gagarin is a good example here. He put, you know, his heart, her heart, his heart and also his mind to, the, to that great work to journey into um, author, into, you know, in yeah, author space. And, and also he found some very unique, you know, experience. Um, he said, when I orbited the Earth in a spaceship, I saw for the first time how beautiful our planet is. Mankind let us preserve and increase, you know, this um, beauty and not destroy it. Actually, he changed, you know, his situation where he had felt so, uh, safe beside his family and also uh, his career. Um, however, you know, he, uh, he, he, uh, he explored a unique and also um, and um, the truth that special power is driving uh, force behind every person. This is exactly his sentence that I used in my lecture. Um, you know, actually, I'm not uh, I'm not planning to seek in his life story, but I'd like to describe more about what life we would have had if everyone wishes to make the dis distance from their uh, their comfort um, zone daily. Um, I personally to um, push myself and also others in unfamiliar places to do things that we wouldn't normally do. Okay, stepping out of your comfort zone, um, you know, it has something here which needs uh, to explain. Um, and stepping out of your comfort zone raises anxiety and also generates, I know, a stress, a stress um, response. The result enhances level of um, concentration and also focus. For example, uh, White, as a scholar said in 19, in 2009, refers to the optimal uh, performance zone in which performance can be uh, enhanced by some amount of stress. On the other hand, we have another, um, actually, scholars, um, Yex, uh, 1907. He actually 
uh, reported that anxiety improves performance until a certain optimum level of um, arousal has been reached. So here, this is very important. Uh, we should control stress not to attain beyond, you know, that point which is which which has um, deteriorate effect. Uh, you know, actually, last time I remember I've heard well, from a um, another you know scholars. Uh, she said when we wake up. Uh, we invite a stress to our life. So, yeah, this is modern life. That is the reason. We need a stress. You know, uh, we, uh, unconsciously, actually, we uh, invite a stress, but we have to, you know, we should control stress not to attain, as I said, beyond that uh, I, mm, goal. Um, I have actually another aspect of comfort zone, which can explain what is that exactly. Um, and, you know, uh, uh, that its function in our life, uh, which refer to traveling. You know, stepping out of your comfort zone as a message that you may explore yourself while traveling and making most of your time on the road. Actually, uh, you need to go back and see if you are agreeing to travel and then uh, you are, I mean, when you are agreeing uh, to step out of your comfort zone um, by traveling, I mean, then at first you should um, agree and then you go forward. Uh, stepping out of comfort zone means doing things that you don't feel comfortable with doing or getting outside of your comfort levels that is you know big reason i encourage myself and also anyone whom you know i am surrounded to push in unfamiliar um, places to do things that you wouldn't normally uh, you wouldn't normally do um, you may start with a new for example sports to enjoy like doing an uh, extreme sport uh, or activity like bungee jumping. I haven't actually, you know, um, um, tried this um, sport, but it is, you know, it will be good um, to start. And also, for example, uh, for English uh, speaking learner for, you know, uh, is a good opportunity approaching a native English speaker to talk about a serious, you know, topic um, during your traveling, your time. Actually, here there is something, everything in this list can be accomplished with mind over matter uh, mentality. It means if you can think of it, then you absolutely can do it. Um, in the end, I like to say that when you are stepping um, out of your comfort zone, you will reach numerous opportunities uh, and incredible experience, and, and I can say incredible, unforgettable experiences uh, which you can, you know, come up with spreading your uh, explorations by, for example, writing your journey or making, you know, some videos to make other hungry for them. Thank you. Okay, bravo. Thank you very much. I enjoyed this presentation yeah. and I saw much improvement in your pronunciation thank you actually um, this um, lecture um, is different from my previous lectures you were reading some uh, parts I, I suppose um, reading reading many parts part. of that. not not many parts two parts uh -huh. <laughs> Actually, because your you know, pace, your pace was slower in comparison to uh, your previous lectures, but I, I really, I, I think that is okay. I mean, I don't have any objection to that. Really? Yeah, it was. 
and I I found you more confident. You made fewer mispronunciations, and uh, generally speaking, your a lecture was more focused. You were more focused in your presentation, and giving some clues to support your claims, and this is exactly what it is supposed to be. Mm. Mm, I think uh, this is. I can say this is first step again. Mm -hmm. But it's If based I... on trial and error. You know, you make mistakes and you learn oh. from your mistakes. So this is perhaps actually the tenth or eleventh time you are giving a lecture. I'm not sure, but uh, you are improving. You know that uh, skill. the skill of giving lectures which is not that easy and some people do not make any improvement so fortunately you are not among those people and uh, so let me just uh, focus on something by the way you can have access to the lectures of yours on LERB society so uh, for example if you just use that uh, the word Mojgan Uh, mm. you will see for example just type Mojgan and then you will see all of your presentations in that search box you know mm. I suppose and uh, you can just because I archive the lecture mm. okay some points about your presentation first of all in, uh, once you said interesting but you as usual you do not pay enough attention to the stress pattern or stress rules it is interesting And you outside when it is used as an as an adverb, the stress is on the second syllable. For example, outside the uh, place, and you said outside the place, but you should say outside the place. Outside, when when it receives the stress on the uh, first syllable, actually, is the case when it is an adjective. For example, outside layer of that. So. When the part of the speech changes, the pronunciation changes correspondingly. Mm -hmm. And unique second syllable. Mm -hmm. uh, in the middle of your presentation, you used um, a conditional sentence. You said, "What life would have had? Imagine what life would have had if everyone wishes." This is not grammatically true or correct. Grammatically correct. Because actually, uh, you use a conditional sentence type three, and you uh, generally, because of the fact that it is uh, uh, an imaginary situation, referring to the present time, because it could happen any time, so you should put it in um in, in the conditional sentence type two, or you could say, for example, what life? Imagine what life. Uh, Uh, would have to offer us if anybody wished you know you should put it in this way conditional sentence type 2 imagine what life would have to offer us or present to us if everybody or anybody wished and uh, I told you I just I'm referring to my notes your pronunciation um, performance was Uh, much better in comparison to the past so result said result generate you said gen generate or something but the first syllable is stressed and arousal I remember in the previous time in the last time you used this word and I asked you to correct yourself but again actually you just said arousal or something Uh, do you remember? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, that would be much better if you learn from your mistakes and do your best not to repeat them again. Yeah. And uh, you said uh, stress, but that is stress. And uh, you said agree, but it is agree. And. Uh, Let me see. Uh, you said forward. It's forward. And uh, I have this question for you. Uh, how is 
the concept of comfort zone and self-discipline uh, are related. Is there any relationship? Can you explain about that? Uh, self, uh, you said self-discipline. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, in the middle of your presentation, you said that uh, in order to get out of your comfort zone, step out of your comfort zone, you need to do something that you do not like, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. And from yeah. that point of view, that is the exact, the exact definition of self-discipline. When you have enough self-discipline, it means that you are ready to do anything that you might not even like. So you oh. need to dis discipline yourself to do anything that is necessary for you to do even if you don't like it in order to get out of your comfort zone so these two things are related you need to have self-discipline in order to get out of your comfort zone so I could uh, repeat myself in another way that self-discipline is one of the building blocks of stepping out of your comfort zone Without self-discipline, you will just stick to your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And also you said that human mind uh, has this potential to uh, achieve everything that it can think. Do you remember you said that? Yes. This is exactly yeah. what Napoleon Hill, the, the author of Think and Grow Rich, has said. And he's, he believes that the mind can achieve whatever it can conceive and believe. So this is interesting. So ev anything that the mind can think of is achievable or reachable. Yeah, you can imagine, exactly think about it and imagine and find some solutions and ways. It's actually, you, in order to actually materialize something first you need to visualize it so you need to visualize something it means imagine and then materialize it i mean manifest it into reality no visualization no materialization materialization but this is as you said it's it's so easy to say okay i want to come to get out of my comfort zone but the majority of cases it does not happen to the majority of people because they don't know how and they do not try to look at this issue from a scientific point of view from a neurological point of view because maybe I should the, some people are, are not uh, mentally okay the level of some hormones for instance is so low uh, for instance in order to have confidence you need to have some sort of I mean, an adequate level of testosterone in your body, for instance, mm -hmm. adrenaline, you know, and uh, I don't want to say that if you don't have these things, uh, it is zero percent that you will be able to just get out of your comfort zone. No, some any time actually you can uh, just change the setting and environment to the uh, for the better. But it's not that easy, as you said, I, I believe. 